Hey, and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up your merch easily with Stream Elements. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First thing you will need to do is set up Stream Elements with Twitch. If you don't have it done yet, connect it to your Twitch and log into Stream Elements using your Twitch. Do the setup process if there is any, and after you've done that, we can move on to the next step. Go to StreamElements.com, click the Get Started or Log In. When you click the Log In, make sure that you connect it with Twitch. This should be the first page you log into. It should be your dashboard. From here, what we want to do is go down here to the Revenue page. In the Revenue tab, when you click it to expand, you'll see SE Merch. You just want to give that a click. Now, if Stream Elements isn't all the way set up, you may have to do a few things before you can do this. We'll just go through the steps one at a time. This here page gives you a breakdown of the three steps you have. So if you have a logo that's 2000 by 2000, you can just drag it into here and have Stream Elements auto make some of your, the most popular merch. For this example, we're gonna scroll down. Um, we do not have any custom art exactly 2000 by 2000 to drag into here. So we're gonna click on the get started and we're just gonna use what we have right now. So for this example, we're going to click the get started instead of dragging something into here. But if you do have your own art, I would definitely suggest giving this here a check out. And like I said, it'll give you the one, two, three steps and we're just going to click the get started. Okay. The first item, the new item that's going to pop up is a shirt. Um, this here doesn't give you an option of what to do. It's going to make you do this here one first before the rest of your store will show up. So just Bear with me, you have to do this here part. So we're just gonna add a la layer and we're gonna upload an image, upload something new. We're gonna go to the desktop and just upload something that we've used before. So we're gonna use our little logo. We're just gonna jam it in the corner. We're not gonna use this shirt. We just have to make this one here. So we'll just put the logo here and click next. We're gonna call it t-shirt. We're gonna leave everything stock and save and publish it. This isn't really what we're gonna do, but this will get you started. Now that you have one piece of merch, it says your SE merch store is almost ready. This may take a few minutes and bam, your store is ready. Prove your store and create unique merch for your community. You must accept the terms and click preview store. So right now it's going to give you the five most basic items. These will be your starter items. From here, you can just remove these. You can change the things by clicking edit on them. So this one here gives you $6.50 profit. It shows you how your logo looks on here. You can click the next after you're here and then you can put this here down like $6 profit for a mug, a $15 mug. We're gonna make this here a $9 mug. We're only gonna make 50 cents on it because that's crazy. We don't need anything more than that. And we'll click save. Now the merch that we're interested in I'll go through one from scratch. See, these ones here are just the ones that it has set up for you, which they're not too bad, but the only piece of merch that I really want is a hat. So I'm going to go in here and click on create new item. And this is going to give you a bunch of different t-shirts, uh, men's, women's, but the one that we want is actually a hat. We want a, we want a cool hat with our logo on it. Embroidery beta. We're just going to click here on the, I have read all of this here and click let's go. From here, it's going to have a couple options. I already know what ones I like, so I'm going to click on this one here and we're just going to add the same. <laughs> we, we don't want that. We want our uploads. We're going to select ours again and we're just going to leave it like that. That's exactly where we want it. Now over here on the side, there's different colors to pick from. So what we're going to do here is select our colors that are in here. So we want red, black. blue and yellow. Those are the colors that we have in here. So we'll find yellow here. One second. Gold. Okay. Then we'll just click the preview button. This may take a couple minutes to come up. It may like it says 90 seconds and then it'll show you kind of what it'll look like when it's printed out. All right. Look at that. That actually looks pretty good. I could have added one more color in there, a little bit of gray but that there looks good for us. We're just going to click the save button. Now it says how much profit you're going to get. You can add creator notes. Awesome hat. Awesome. And we're going to change the price down. We don't want to make a bunch of profit on our merch. Our merch is just pretty much so that people can just give us a little bit of support. We don't need it. We're not trying to steal people's money. So we're just going to make it an $18 hat. I think that's fair. Dollar two, maybe three dollars profits. Fine. I'm going to save and publish. That's personal preference though. You can change that any way you want. 
Okay, we'll go over here to the settings. After we have our basic set up and we have the things in here that we like, you can delete these as well. You can just have the one item that you want. But there's a couple things here. There's marketing and you'll be able to go through here and stock up, order simple promotions and stuff like that there. You can get started. So some of these here, like the winter and summer effects and stuff like that, you'll have to go through here. Same as the merch panels, merch alerts, merch rotator widget, and chatbot commands and timers. So you can click in here and you can add command and timer. So that there allows you to like promote your merch in chat without having to go through a bunch of work to have it set up. So you can just click this here and commands create it successfully. So then you can customize it, but we'll just leave that stock for now. There is a tutorial at the bottom for how to sell merch. But again, we wanna just grab this here merch alert as well, generate and copy OBS URL. So this will give you a URL for your merch and you can just copy this. You can put this in your OBS. So if you load up your OBS, click the plus down here, click a browser source. We're just gonna name this one here merch. We're gonna name it merch. We're gonna paste it here. And we're gonna do 1920 by 1080. I think it's smaller than that, but we'll resize it if we need to. Click okay. And then bam, your merch is added here. We'll go back here and your merch panel. Uh, so if you need uh, one of these here panels, you can download these here and add them to your panel. So if you go to your channel and scroll down here in your chat and these here panels, you can add them here. So they give you ones that you can download so that you can have a link right to the store. And you can customize the colors here. I almost forgot this. You can customize the colors to suit your brand a little bit more with a few different color selections. There's not a lot of colors, but there is a few. And there is something there to pick from. So there's a few options. We're just going to scroll up. We're just going to scroll up, go to the payment options. Uh, this will give you your withdrawals and your history. And the last is the settings. The settings is where you're going to be able to go through and name your store, use your email address, and you'll be able to replace your image. So you'll be able to add any image here that you want. I definitely suggest getting some art if you're going to be using it. After that's all done and you're all, all saved up, community discounts, apply automatic discounts for customers, and the contact us. After that, at the very bottom, it says take store online. It says your store is offline right now. So just keep that in mind. You do have to go through here where it says the community is waiting for you to go live with your and celebrate your new merch and stuff. You can just click the go live from here. It, it should say over here, your store is now online. So you can go to the store page. You can view it and check out your own merch and how it looks. So then you can adjust it the way that you like. I think there is a dark mode. I'm not sure how to do that. You'll have to play with some of those settings on your own. But this here is your, you can copy this here and you can paste this here like in your panels. Like I said, you can put it down here for your merch. You can download the panels from here in the marketing section right here. You just click download. Once you have it, you can edit panels, click a new panel, add text or image panel, add the image, drag. We'll just go to the downloads. We'll click the new shop. Click done and then we need to add the link. Do not name the panel or it'll show a title over above it. We'll just click submit after that and then we'll view it to make sure that it looks okay. All right, now when somebody clicks this here, it'll just open up your store page. After that, you're pretty much set to, and good to go. All you'll need to do now is make your own art or get your own channel art and add it to your merch. They make it pretty easy and they do stock the items for you. So when someone orders it, you don't have to have a bunch of it on hand. Your viewers can just order your merch from there. So it takes a lot of that stuff out of your hands that you don't have to worry about. They do most of the lag work, but you do only get a portion of the profit for it. To get your merch out though, I find this here a very, like if you're just getting started and this is just your first merch, I find this here a perfect place to get started. I ordered a couple things to check the quality. I will have to get back to you on that. I'm going to do some testing to see how, how it lasts and how it, the wear and tear does on it just to make sure that the merch is good. But so far, so good. And that's everything there is to it, guys. Your merch store should be live. It should be added everywhere. You should have an automatic timer as well. If you go here in your chatbot and go to your chatbot commands, custom commands, you should have a merch command here. And as well, you should have timed commands. So in the time, oh, 
in the timers, it should have a merch here as well. So every 30 minutes, it should put a message in your chat that directs everyone to the merch store link. So keep that in mind. That's everything you need to do. It's all set up. You can adjust these things wherever you want. You can make the intervals of how this here timer works. You can change this here at any time so that you can have the intervals go up in minutes so that it doesn't post too many times in your chat. But that happens automatically when you click that button we did a little while back. So just keep that in mind. You may not want that to auto spam stuff through your chat and you can turn that off. All you have to do is just click the disable. So if you find it spamming too much or you don't like it, you can just turn it off after you've clicked that button and it'll still give you like your command. So it'll still allow you to have your command. If someone runs the exclamation mark merch, it'll let them know where the store is and how to find it. Even though it is here, some people like to view the chat better if they're on phone or something like that. They might not be able to see this the same way. So having both the command and the panel is a good idea and it's just an extra bonus to have it going automatically in your chat if you have a busy chat that's great if you only have one person in your chat you may not want to see your merch message five times in a row before the next person chats that'll be something you might have to play with but then that's everything there is to it if you think i forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below and if you like or found this video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching